Welcome back to For Love of the Mix. I'm Timothy, and I'm happy to have you here today. And what I wanted to show you was how you might troubleshoot when a project in Ableton doesn't open. And I'm sure you've had this before where a project that you go back to maybe after some time, it just crashes when you load it. And let me show you what I'm talking about here and how you might be able to track down the culprit. So I'm going to open up this project here. And there we go. We've had our crash. What we're going to do is wait for the crash report from the system to come up. And we're going to take a look at that. So let's see here. If we scroll down here where it says this thread zero crashed and we can take a look at live it looks like it was working with this plugin the uh, oak sound spiff which is incredible by the way i just installed an update to that and i wonder if that's the the culprit so the way we're going to test that now that we have that information we're going to hit okay we're going to go into our vst3 folder and i'm just going to uh, get that VST out for now. I'm going to relaunch Ableton. Here we go. And before we try and load that project, I want to rescan so that the system uh, understands that that uh, spiff VST has been moved out. I'm going to close that and now let's try and load this project again. And this time, now that that offending VST is out of the way, we should be able to open this project. Perfect. Couldn't find that plugin because we removed it. But we'll just say OK to that. And now my project opens just fine. So now I can go from there and figure out what's happening with Spiff. Maybe switch to the VST2 version instead of the VST3 version. Go back to the previous version. Uh, some more troubleshooting will be in order. But now my project is at least usable and I can go through and clean out where that plugin was. And one other lesson learned from this experience is be careful when you're updating plugins. I wouldn't have expected Spiff to cause any trouble because it's worked so solidly before without any problems before. Uh, but now I have this problem. Uh, so if you're updating your plugins, keep a note of that. You might also want to go in and back up those previous versions so that you can just uh, pull them out of the folder and put them back in if you need to and get rid of those new ones without going and finding older installers. And most plugins are self-contained that way where they're very easy to move. And I wish I would have saved that myself, uh, even just keeping it for this project and getting those settings. Keep a mental note or even write it down when you update your plugin so that if you uh, do encounter problems, that, that should also help you narrow down where the problems are and even back those up before installing the update. Well, I hope that was helpful for you guys. I know this is so frustrating when that happens. Uh, if this was, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. I'd love if you subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you here as a regular. Uh, my name's Timothy. Thanks so much for being here, and I'll see you in the next video.